Grain is being poured into a silo and is falling into a conical pile whose radius is always three times its height. The grain is falling at 60 pi meters cubed per second. How fast is the height of the pile increasing when the pile is 12 meters high? So once you have a kind of rough visual of what's going on here, I've used this photo to kind of picture how grain often does fall into piles. And we have this pretty clearly delineated conical shape. We can denote its radius as being this length and its height as that. This being a related rates problem, we must ask ourselves what kind of information we can gather from the text of the problem. Like how this thing's radius is always three times its height. Well, that's something we can write down mathematically. The radius is always three times the height, r equals 3h. And then they say that the grain is falling at 60 pi meters cubed per second. Now, meters cubed measures volume, so the volume is increasing at 60 pi meters cubed per second. That means we can say that dv dt, rate of change in volume with respect to time differential, is equal to 60 pi. How fast is the height of the pile increasing when the pile is 12 meters high? Well, that's another piece. We know that we're dealing with a situation when h equals 12. And asked about a situation, or rather asked what dh dt is. dh dt is a question mark. That's how fast is the height increasing? I'd love to use our calculus skills to answer that question, but we need a start point. We need some kind of formula that relates quantities like radius and height and even the derivative of those things together. And we're going to start with the volume of any old cone. We have to know that the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. We will take the derivative of this equation implicitly because it is implied that quantities like volume, radius, and height are changing with respect to time. One piece at a time, we encounter v. The derivative of v will just be the derivative of v, dv dt. And then we'll encounter a constant, one-third pi, which I'll choose to leave out of whatever comes next. And now we encounter r squared and h two different functions with respect to time being multiplied together, so we will employ the product rule. Some people memorize the product rule as being a left side and a right side, and they employ the formula left function times d right, derivative of the right function, and the derivative of this function will be dh dt, plus right, the right function, d left, or derivative of the left function. Now don't forget, implicit differentiation, that'll be 2r to the first power, and we'll slap a dr dt onto the end of it. Let's take stock of the equation that we've created here. We have a term dv dt, know that, one-third pi, that's a constant. We have r in terms of h, but we also know what h is, so we pretty much know what that is too. We'd be looking for dh dt, so we wouldn't expect to have that. Here's h again, which we know, r, which we pretty much know, and ah, the only problem remaining is dr dt. We have to get that term somehow. But we'll start with the fact that r is equal to 3h. Remember, I'm just getting this from up there early on, and take the derivative of this term. That's, after all, what dr dt would be. The derivative of this term, implicitly, dr dt, would be equal to 3 dh dt, 3 times the derivative of h. So that means we've found our last variable. And the thing we're looking at here is an equation with one unknown. All that remains is to plug in and substitute. Well, the first thing I'm going to plug in is dr dt. 
So I'll go through all these steps here. dv, dt, the third pi, a bracket, r squared, dh, dt, plus h times 2r, and now instead of dr, dt, we'll put times 3 dh, dt. Nice. Um, I'll take a run through this and I'll plug in the r's as well. Actually, I think I'll just replace everything that I know. Uh, we know that dv dt is in fact equal to 60 pi. We know we've got here 3 times 12, because the height is known to be 12. dh dt, we're looking for that guy. We can plug in another 12 here. Another 12 here, another 3 here. This is getting pretty silly looking. I'm going to combine all these terms in a second. Alright, so what do we have here? We have 36 and 36 squared is going to be 1296. Here's a big stupid string of numbers. 12 times 2 times 3 times 12 times 3. That's going to evaluate to 2592 dhdt. Time to scroll. So this is getting better. We have two like terms here, both dhdt, so we can take the 1296 dhdt and add it to 2592 dhdt, and we'll have 3888, 3888 dhdt. And we are just nearly there. I can actually cancel these pi's, uh, multiply both sides by 3. So that's going to make 180 is equal to 3888 dh dt. Finally, dividing both sides by 3888, we arrive at our answer that dh dt, the rate at which the height is changing with respect to time, is. 0.046, let's say, meters per second.